Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2! I'll tell you one thing, I am getting sick of looking at the Aegon Wastes here. Let's get out of it. Let's get out of it, but we still gotta find the third key. Oh, right, 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 so back to the Dark World is what you're telling me. So the way that, th the way that this works is that, um... The three temple keys are hidden in the dark version of whatever this is. Of whatever place you're in. I think a waste of Aegon or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh... Like what you do is you get the three keys of that area, and you take the three keys to the dark temple, and then past that temple is the energy controller, and you take the energy, uh... and you take the energy from Dark Aether, carry it with you because we have that energy controller, okay. and then we take that energy back into the light world, go to the temple in the light world, go to the energy controller there, and give it there, and now the light, light Aether has like a third of the planet's power. Huh, so we're actually physically taking the energy to the light world. Essentially, yes. Interesting. Okay. So, to get the third key, we gotta go to Dark Aegon again. But not th not here, because again, Dark Aegon is uh, split off by um, super missile doors. So we gotta go back to that first port we were at. The one-way street? The two-way street. Two-way street. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay, yeah. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. It's it's the 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 second portal we got to go to. Well, the first one we were at though, and then we got the second one that was in the pirate base that they used. But I did. I don't have time to deal with these guys. Trying to figure out where the hell to go. Uh, I was about to say, I'm glad you're ignoring these guys. This way, okay. Right. Portal access. Do you think those guys are like self congratulating that they chased off the hunter? <laughs> Yeah, we got her. Yeah. self congratulate I think they're like, oh god, we're still alive. Thank fuck. Oh god. She's so glad. She she didn't pass any mine. I'm so happy. Honey, I'm making it home. <laughs> You've been on the planet for three cycles already. No, no, no. You don't understand. I had a run in with the hunter. The hunter? So so there's nothing but like six hives here full of war wasps. Ew. Yeah, there's, no. there's there's too many of them to count. It's ridiculous. No, don't. No, no hives. No hives. Ew. Came here fast, too. And then we got the dark and light beam. We can explore uh, this portion of the dark wastes a bit easier. Ah, uh, this portion of the dark world. <laughs> this portion of the dark world is gonna be a lot easier that to That sounds go pretty good. Let's go into the dark world. Oh, I dare say, I dare say. <laughs> You're not listening to me, boy. <laughs> we need to go to the dark world and get the last key. Although, there is uh, a pickup we need to get first. Ow, 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 ow. Another missile tank? Yes. Oh, nice. This is the one that we could have gotten as soon as we got the dark beam, but it would have been kind of out of the way. You well, know, and I'll go out of the way to get E-tanks, but we can get missile missile pickups on the way. So, a thought occurred to me while we were going through the dark world last time. Yeah. And I thought it would be an interesting, like, say for a hard mode, what if the damage you received from being out in the dark world ramped up? Would there be any points where that would make the game impossible? Like, let's say every second you're out there, you take one damage, then two damage, then three damage, and then it just keeps cycling up, so it gets faster the longer you're out there. I think that'd make it unplayable. You think so? Mm-hmm. If you made a hard... I, because there is a hard mode, obviously. I think the hard mode, you know, the enemies do more damage. So while you're still taking the same amount of damage out here in the uh, Dark Aether, if you get hit by an enemy, well, that's going to make things even worse for you. Then again, I'm just realizing that it goes down, like... Once, God, you're losing so much health. Okay, yeah. never, never mind on my uh -huh. idea. My yeah, idea no. seems impossible. Maybe it'll be like for Metroid Prime 2 Echoes Impossible, the ROM hack that could only be beaten by task. This game is already needlessly difficult. So this is the room where the uh, expansion pack is at, and you think it might be over there, but no. Is it in your pocket already? I mean, yeah, you just didn't look there. One light beam destroys these things in one shot. Oh, that's beautiful. But the tank's right here. <laughs> Just had to get those blobbies out of the way, it's fine. It's misdirection! Yeah, yeah. It's like, look over here, it's over here. <laughs> oh, punch in the face, gotcha. Thanks, Pendulette. <laughs> I'm playing the bass while I'm doing it. <laughs> oh my god, the, the misdirection. Oh, I love that. That trick is so good. So all the tricks they do are good. I know. I'm just thinking, if, if we ever went to a Vegas show and actually got to see them live, would it be the same ones that have been uploaded to YouTube, or would it be new material? Probably not every time, but in, like, a cycle. By the time we get to Vegas, it'll be too late, and so just Teller comes out and just pulls on his thumb. <laughs> <makes> it... 
Then he bows and that's it. Yeah, sorry, dude. Oh, it was worth the 560 bucks I paid for this. Uh, 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 too much. <laughs> if I can... If I can actually get a PSVR, I would love to play the Penn and Teller game with you. It does not have Desert Bus. I know. Sucks. That's, that's, that's fine. It's okay. We'll get through it's it. fine. Alright, so we can make a jump up here. And in this black door that I almost fell down. I, I was about to say I In this black door we have a nice little save station if you need it. Oh perfect. We get we're missing two E tanks and this kinda helps things out a little bit. The mythical save station number three. Cause now we're gonna head into the temple. Of time? No, the temple. Of dark. The the dark temple. Of light. We don't have all three keys though. Oh. Well, what, are you, what are you doing going into the temple? You gotta have the keys. Well, I mean, you know, you just gotta figure we could see what it looks like first. Maybe we can get a little hint on where the third one might be. Maybe grab a grab a picture for the socials. Sup yeah, you know, get, snap a selfie. Yeah. There's a here in Dark Temple. Home movies, uh, that type, that type of thing. <laughs> but this is the Dark Temple. Blah! Oh no! This is where you turn in your keys, or we can't access the temple yet. Okay, so you can't come here and, like, unleash an enemy. You have to come here with the keys. Yes. Okay, cool. And that third key is really hard to find. I'm ready. This is why you're the... Found I, it. I knew it was going to be something like that. <laughs> this is supposed to be the first key you find, because oh! I, I de <laughs> ideally, you'd go down to the Dark Temple, and where, you see okay. where everything is and, and all that, and then you go down to the one place you can get to, and there it is, because you, you didn't need a, the darker light beam here. I think it's supposed to be, like, the first key you're supposed to find. But, uh... That makes a lot of sense. We don't do, we don't do things by the rules all the time here on Ultra Director Jester's channel, no way. <laughs> so as it kind of works out, because now we can just turn the keys right here. This shiny hologram kind of tells you. Nice. Right, good to go. Let's do it! Boss time! Here we go. Now, why do you think there's a boss? Because it's something important. You always with the plot. think you always think there's a boss. You know, you know, maybe it's not like that. Maybe we maybe finding the keys was its own boss fight in itself. I mean, we basically had to do a boss fight to get that that one key, right? So why would you think there'd be one here? Because I know game design. No, you don't. You don't know anything. There is no boss here. Hey, look. See, it's just a cutscene to show us jumping down and seeing how cool this temple really oh, wow, is. Wow, look at it. Oh, I can't fool you for a second, can I? Uh, Niskodama strikes again. <laughs> Ew! It's like a giant three-headed grub that can disconnect from its ass. Fans of Tremor will probably appreciate this. Oh, did it just get rid of the... Okay, no, it didn't. So, this is a Morbus. This oh. thing in the center, it's a bio-generated power sphere. Oh. It provides dark energy to the Amorbus, which means as long as that thing exists, so so too do they. So kill the sphere, kill the bugs. Right. But that sphere isn't that sphere is impervious to all weapons. But we can't destroy it. Yeah, but how are we gonna do it? It's a morbin all over the place. It's it a just said a morbin time. It's a morbin time. <laughs> God I hate it. Do so you, do you wanna like hate watch that one of these days? <laughs> well, uh <laughs> Wait, what? You see, I'm, oh, that is see, more, I'm more forgiving towards bad superhero movies. Everybody hates Ghost Rider for some reason. I like it. It's fine. I, I never I never go with the most popular opinions, so I'll probably end up liking Morbius or something. Well, then this is a perfect boss fight for you. Look at that. Look at how a Morbin we're doing. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Jared Leto. I'm not a big fan of Matt Smith, so why, what, why should I watch it? I don't know. For the fun. Well, I'll watch a fun movie, then. And also just to make the gag work. This kind of reminds me of, uh... Oh, what was the... Shit, what were the three worms in Link to the Past? Crap. I know, I know what you mean. <sighs> well, it's not exactly the same, but... Well, you, this, you well, uh, this fight has three phases. And each phase is cut into two parts. This is the first part of the first phase. There is one worm jumping around. Power beam uh, works good. we got to destroy all of the armor on him. Every time a, a piece of armor gets dropped, he drops, like, some health or some missiles or whatever. And then when he's all done, he turns into this fucking thing. Oh, This hello. is Amorbus Part 2. The sequel. The sequel. Dark Amor- Oh, so it got darkified. Now he is actively channeling energy from the Dark Sphere. Hmm. He's, he gets armor, he gets all that, he just- just... Na nasty pinchers, looks evil, na bad stuff. Shoot but, it in the face! Light beam's very effective, though. 
It's quick and shoots oh. fast and take, only takes a few shots and then he sucks you in. Oh. And then you do that thing and BAM! <laughs> Don't like that so much. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that, you fool. Yep. You fool, look and at And then it. after that, he, uh... <laughs> <laughs> he just slams it on the ground. No! So now we get to the second phase where his buddy pops in. Now there are two worms on the field. Ooh, okay. I thought you had to fight them one at a time. No. No, well, we, we fight them one at a time, Double and then up. they come out. They come out one at a time. It's nothing too bad if you keep moving, keep shooting. You can get enough health to help you out. Yeah. There's, I, there's some containers around that you can get some some ammo back. Nothing yeah. too challenging. Yeah. When you killed that first worm, it looked like he blew up, but now he must have just like. I, I think that's just his armor flying off. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And he has no armor, he goes back to the oh, Dark Sphere. Hello? 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 Yep. Hello? Ow. Damn, that hurt. Oh yeah, it hurts, but again, we're getting constant, uh, health pickups, basically, from shooting these things. Okay, well, so it all works out. Not to mention that these things heal you, but they're, yeah, but they're jumping yeah. all around to make it so that you're not in there all the time. See, it all works out. Alright. Okay. okay, you do have to be right next to them. Oh, then they do this thing. Makes them Lovely move. beam attack. Jesus. Okay. They're kind of they're kind of impervious when they do that, but yeah, this this kind of sucks. Not too difficult to avoid. It's okay though. It's it, it's it's all fine. It's all gravy. You're actually at full health. This is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're, we're doing okay. Doing okay. Boom. Got that one. Take me. Yep. <laughs> when okay. when that happens, I think he drops a bunch of stuff too. Oh, perfect. So that's that's kind of a, of a, how they get you for the difficulty here. There are a lot of things here. There's hurdy atmosphere, but you get a lot of pickups for what it's worth. And that's phase two down. Now it's time for phase three. See, I actually didn't know, because I'd always heard that you know the game is harder once you go to the dark world. I never pieced it together that these barriers actually heal you. That is such a great idea. But not enough though. No, it's not. It's everything hurts. And now we have all three. Aha, there's a hundo. Ooh, hello. Hey. hey. Now we're at full health. And we have three worms to deal with. Got three worms. It is nice to say, though, that when you kill one, it goes away. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So, like, I, I don't... I, I'm pretty sure that there's no time limit to kill these things. So if you, What I hate is if you kill one thing, oh, you gotta kill the other two now or it's gonna come back. I... Mm, I that, that, that drives not, me over. Not a fan, wall. not a fan. Ooh, 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 mad. <laughs> big mad. <laughs> UDJ is big mad. That sounds like a National Lampoon movie. <laughs> National Lampoon presents UDJ's Big Mad. <laughs> it's just a bunch of bosses that keep respawning. <laughs> or, worse yet, healing. Duh. Didn't one of the bosses in our Dark Souls LP, wasn't that... One of the main things you had to kill the healer before killing the main guy, and then they just became one giant big guy. Um, you talk about Orsi and Smaug? Yeah. Where if you kill one, the guy immediately heals all of his wounds, and then he starts the boss battle anew with renewed strength. Yes, that the very one. Yes, it's one of the most beloved fights in the series. But why though? Because it's it's challenging, but it also doesn't like pull bullshit out of its out of its hat. So when you beat it, you feel you feel good. Feel accomplished. You feel great. You unlock the warp. You unlock uh, the next the next story beat. You unlock all this good stuff. It's worth it. It's the best game ever. Until Elden Ring. Oops. Yeah. Oop. <laughs> God, don't you hate it when your own franchise gets bested by your own creation? Yeah, I hate it when people keep making games that are better than the last game that they made. Damn it! This is me on. I just wanted the same exact thing every single time because I'm boring. You know what we say? It's it is different, therefore bad. <laughs> I think it, it I is think new, this therefore beam, bad. I'm pretty sure this beam can also deactivate the crystals if they hit it just right. Uh, Ooh, yep, yeah, yep, they're shooting yep. dark beams. There it is. I think. Well, maybe that's not, not good. Well, this is about over anyway. That move takes forever. Okay. God. Like I know, I know the things that have health right now, but we're gonna take the other half of it right here. And there it goes. There's one. We'll probably still do that beam attack with two, so I better take this guy. Yeah, I don't like that. There we go. Up, see, there it is. Same thing. It's not Moldorm. 
It's Land Mola. That's it. All right. And the third one He's is other way over way there. Way over there. Yeah, turn to face me. That's good. Yeah. Turn and face me, nerd. All right. It's over. Oh, fantastic. It's over. Dead. Samus, are you still stuck in there? Samus? And that destroys the sphere, I think. At least enough to that we can crack it like an egg. Oh, there we are. That look. What, uh, what the? What the? There we go. Uh, yeah, brace for impact. Oh. And inside the sphere is... A motorcycle! Uh, oh. Huh? What? Could that be? Got any ideas, Nis uh, Niskeldamus? This early? What do you think it is? That's the screw attack! It's the screw attack, oh no. No, no, no. It's the Samus! It's the ugliest suit in Metroid history! Oh no, it's a new suit. No, that is not an appealing color. It's a it's the dark suit. Oh pfft. It's the dark the suit. Dark suit. Now dark ether will hurt you less. Okay, that's pretty nice. It now takes away your health about as quickly as you can heal it in the in the crystals. Yes, it does. Okay. Alright. Way I, more manageable I now. I guess we can forgive the the ugly suit. That, that's, See, that's not a good looking suit. No, it isn't. This copper brown and, and, mm. and unflattering you know, yeah, red attached yeah. to it. Not very good. But for its practicality, it's that's, okay. It's, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, I will we'll, take it. We'll work with it. Because now that means we can go into more places in Dark Aether without having our health chopped in half the entire way through. But this is the energy controller that is sapping all the energy from Light Aether. Well. Only one thing to do! SMASH IT WITH A HAMMER! Or give it a consoling talk. Not really hammer people. It's, it's the equivalent of taking a pistol, opening your, your computer's CD tray, and firing. <laughs> I, I shot my fan to make the bullet go faster. So we now have the power of the Aegon with us. And Dark Aether takes a very troubling red sky because the energy from this place has been sapped. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. We have taken the enemy's intelligence. We've done it, Peter. So, we can now not leave Aegon. Sorry? We can't leave Aegon. Dark Aegon or regular Aegon? Regular Aegon. Okay. If we were to le try to leave Aegon, go up to go up the transport to uh, take us to the Great Temple, we can't do it. Because we still have the energy with us and it can't leave. The energy has to stay within its area. Yes. There will be a door okay. that prevents you from leaving. I thought it was going to be a text box saying, Hey, uh, you still have the energy? So you, get a, you get a special door, you scan it and it says you can't leave with the energy of Aegon. Excuse me, madam. Some warrior ings show up, and they're like, What the hell's happening? But they don't... Uh, pay them no mind. They're fine. Oh my god, the, the wildlife is actually reacting to the lack of energy? That's just warrior ings. They're, they're pissed that there's no energy. And everything is spawning more just because it's mad at you? I, 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 I think they're just contextually mad at me, but, you know, I don't, I don't think they're quite happy with me. Everything is taking a very concerning red shade. This is actually kind of cool. I know, right? So now we gotta make our way back. Easy. We got. We got to basically get to where we just were in the light world. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Polar opposite or uh, mirrored. It's this dark suit makes it a lot easier to walk around now. That's fantastic. Well, I can get a little bit of light ammo while I'm at it. That's handy. I don't think we even need to worry about these beacons or anything. It's just, yeah, I'll take a little bit, well, it's a little good. bit of extra damage. It's good it's to get a little bit of reprieve every so often, though. Yeah. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, it's Dark Pirates. 
Can we just ignore them? Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we can. Oh! Oh, yeah. That's a cool effect. I forgot to mention that. If you energize a crystal and there's enemies within that range, they will immediately die. That's great. Mwah. It's, oh, mm. mwah. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. People hate this game? Right, gotcha. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. A as we know, once a worse game comes out in a long-running series, you tend to look at the others more fondly. I mean, I'm liking this way better than Metroid Prime 1. It does have a lot more quality of life, and even though it has... Actually, I haven't even felt any of the rush aspect. Have you? No. I mean, just in some of the difficulty things we'll see later, but this this, this game is this game's fantastic. They did this in 18 months? Are you kidding? This is incredible. Damn, that's no time at all. Can't even clean my house in 18 months. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> God. I think the only time this apartment will ever be clean is if I sell all my games. The only time this apartment will be clean is if you move. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> but yes, you are correct. This is a factual statement. Hi guys! Yeah, get uh, get out of here. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, get, get. God, I love the missile chased him. You can physically see the. No, 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 no! No way, way, way! No way, 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 way! I find the light beam kind of works in any world, light or dark, but. Dark beam especially works best in the light world. Maybe it's just the negativity coming through. It's like you shoot them with negative emotions and they just don't want to be here anymore. I forgot which way to go. Which way is it? Ah, uh... oh, right, this way. Are you sure, UDJ of the present? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Because this place is... I remember this place is getting uh... really, really phase-on heavy. Just... I, f I feel like there was always phase on, but it just feels like there's, there's more of it. Well, cancer does eventually spread, unfortunately. This place is full of war wasps, too. They just kind of come out of the woodwork to tell me hi. We can ignore them, though. Yep, yep. They yeah, can be gone with you. Be they can yell you. at me all they want, but it's fine. They were just trying to ask you for a cup of sugar. Oh, we're here. Yep, just gotta do the old thing again. Me. That's still a fun transition. Don't know how it works. It's basically a loading thing, I think. Yeah. There's a lot of cutscenes and contextual stuff, and this is, you know, we could send a trigger that could change the entire landscape of things, like we're about to do now. Set a lot of context, you know, set up a lot of flags. I'd, I'd want a separate loading screen, too. Taking the energy that Dark Ether has stolen and using it to restart the energy controller here in Light Ether. Let's see if the sky changes colors. <laughs> A look of determination in an ugly brown red suit. Oh, looks promising. Okay. Oh, we can now get cable! Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, it's so bright! Ah! There we go! The score is now 33% light ether, 66.6% .6 goes to dark ether. Well, if we gotta jump into hell to get more energy, so be it. Right then. What did these guys do before the technology to conserve all this energy? Uh, oh. Hello. I believe that is Yumos. Or the guy who was dead in that corner over there. Well, the Temple's energy is restored. The Aegon is safe. And now the Aang are one, or they, they are now a third weaker. Like, actually? Like, out in the overworld? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Their, 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 their contextual story power is now 30, 33% weaker. I understand. And they're going to be uh, quite mad about that. You know what I just realized? Of course, moth people would want us to get their lamp back. 
Yeah, well, I mean... I'm sorry to bring your attention to the fact that we're saving Mothmen, but... There we go. It's out there. Well, moths are okay. Lamp! I don't mind moths so much. Uh, okay. Yeah, me neither. And swag shot! Oh! Oh! You're bringing this to the Let's Play? Oh, God. You start rolling out the dollar bills. It's 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 just neat, just a neat thing to do. All right, now we gotta get out of here and talk to Yumos. Oh, Yumos basically says thanks and will point you in the next direction. But we've also got one more pickup to get before that. Thank yep. you, young bounty hunter. A pickup that we can get much easier now that we have the dark suit. You're not nearly as mean as that dark blue one that came in earlier. She had weird claws on her boots. It was strange. She just tried to shake my hand and stabbed me with her actual talons. But we killed Dark Samus. It's okay. All right, she's gone. Yeah, we did it. We 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 win. <laughs> we did it. Yay! All right. Hi, there's boss. the exit. Ow. So have we gotten everything? Um, there's. I mean, we're, we're, we're gonna come back here by the before the end of the game. Okay, cool. Because there was still the Sky, uh, Sky Temple T, Sky Temple Keys I was telling you about. And yeah. we'll be able to get some more items here when we get more item, more uh, pickups. I didn't know if this place closed off. Of course, I seriously doubt it because all of Metroid Prime was accessible at one point. Yeah, no, I don't think anything becomes inaccessible. Not really. That's good. Let's go show him our awesome new suit. Welcome, Samus. Ah! Uh. Did you fall into a fire? What happened to your orange suit? You look like an angry penny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lincoln grew a, a metallic body. He's coming after us. Oh, the copper suit. We knew it was a bad design, but we went with it anyway. Like the only thing worse would be like, you know, a light green and hot pink suit. Oh, the tie-dye suit! You finally found it! You found the Argyle suit! <laughs> you found the gauche suit! It looks terrible! So we come through this tunnel here. This we, this we round about the way to the Great Temple. We see this thing. We can power that now. With a light crystal. Ooh. Which opens up. Oh no. To a portal into Dark World. <laughs> oh no. We can't do much in here. This is just to get one pickup, but we'll have a much easier time in here with the dark suit, and you'll see why. Yeah, might as well get it now. Remember all those Ing Claw we were talking about? The this ones place that... is full of them? Well, now that we have the dark suit. Doesn't really work for them so much. Oh, really? Can't go that way because of the purple door. But out here, all these ing claw doesn't uh, really doesn't really affect us too like much. A refreshing spring breeze. Not at all. Just do, doesn't do nothing at all. And yoink. Number fourteen. We're all caught up. I love seeing numbers go up. Do you just get a calculator? Type in one plus one and keep pressing equals. God, the look on your face. You're smiling so hard. What's wrong with you? Oh God. Numbers. Numbers. I actually do have the calculator on the Switch. You got that for memes. You didn't get, get it because you really wanted a calculator for Switch, I'm sure. I, no, of course not. It's the killer app I've been waiting for, UDJ. You don't, you don't understand. You don't understand. No Better than battle calculator. Oh, a whole bunch of war wasps. That's great. These guys are these guys are fun. Didn't I raid you guys out of existence? No. Okay. Time to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you got the raid power up, and it just shoots can of raid. It doesn't actually shoot the raid. Just the, the cans. The raid beam. <laughs> no need to use the arm cannon. She just uses her left arm for this one. Smack! <laughs> he got a raid expansion. And the Mothman is just like, no, please, no, stop! You can use, you, you can probably use that can of uh, a bug spray to destroy 
the myth, the mythological heroes in Dark Aether. Anyway, the punchline is uh, you can use raid, raid on the Shadow, Shadow Legends. Legends. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Right, so we got a couple of translating doors over there. We got we, we can unlock the orange door, but well, we gotta talk to Yumos first. The, right, right, right. They won't let us through until we talk to him. Yeah. We got we gotta get, gotta okay with the boss first, you know. Hey, boss, I uh, re restored power in the other place. Can I go to somewhere other than Aegon Wastes? Hmm. What's up? Yo! Bruh. Doesn't help that uh, he, she kind of looks like a Luminoth now. <laughs> I was just thinking that, yeah. You found the copper suit. Uh, thank you for restoring energy to the Temple of Aegon. Well, no problem. Those who have passed and those who remain. Reiterating that there are still Luminoth still living in a deep hibernation while the war rages on. Bring the troops home. Now the Ang are pissed. Uh-oh. They will surely seek revenge for what we've done. Oh boy. Just to, just to tell that uh, the next two places we go to are going to be probably a lot harder. Oh dear. Now we're going to the Torvis sector. You know, the Torvis Forest, that is now called the Torvis Bog. No. It's our water level, too. Fuck. We're gonna get to the point where I kind of stopped playing in my, uh... <laughs> when, when it came out. Uh-oh. Yeah. So have you not finished Metroid Prime 2 Echoes? I have not. I have not beat this game. Experience for both of us! Even even when I put in the action replay and got everything and started to play from there, I still couldn't, because you gotta find those keys. Where are those keys? I don't know where they are. But, going forward, I will know now. Right. Off to Torvis. So, off to Torvis, but we, but uh, getting to Torvis is going to be kind of a hell in a handbasket. <laughs> what, you're saying this, this game that's slightly harder isn't that easy? I'm saying it's going to be a while before we find a save point. Oh. So, let's hit up the closest one we can find. Okay, I get you, I get you. I was thinking that we could go to the one that we were just at right here, but it's through that green door. We can't translate green doors to get to the previously accessible safe station that we were at before. Not really nice of them. I so we gotta go to the the literal closest one. 30 miles away. Probably about 10. Oh, okay. Well, it's not too bad. We'll get our steps in, at least. We, we could, we could, we, I mean, we could go, go all the way back to the ship. Yeah, but that would take too long. Yeah, it would take too long. There's one closer, though, we can go to. It just gives us a lot more time to take a look at our really odd-looking suit. It's kind of grown on me, maybe because I'm just glad that I can walk through Dark Aether and, you know, kind of take my time a little bit now. Although, I don't think anything will compare with the, uh, the snot suit that we had in Metroid Fusion. <laughs> I yeah, still the, love the, that one. Yeah, the, the uh, Fusion Varia suit was, uh... <laughs> well, uh, it, it, it was. It yes, was a hawker, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That's okay. Can't win them all. So. See, now I'm just reminded that the suits in Metroid Dread kicked ass. Oh, yeah, they did. Nice white suit. We, ah. we can go back into the hive here. Excellent. Where Bravo Team set up. Oh, cool. We'll use their safe station. Why didn't they think of that? So, uh, it's full of dark troopers, of course, and just one light beam. <laughs> just... <laughs> Don't gotta worry so much. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, hi. Die. It's just f f falling back is really good. Oh, hey, how's the? <laughs> Next time, a Metroid Prime Two Echoes will be jumping into the second area, the Torvis Bog. How exciting! Oh, she looks all energized too. All right, let's do it. Next time, Torvis Bog. Here we go. Yeah.